Here it is. I just finished my Stumac Light Cycle Phasor 2. This is a Mutron clone. So Musictronics is the company. They made a pedal. They no longer make the pedal. Stumac makes a clone of the pedal. This is, as they so call it, a rare pedal kit. With that, you'll get instructions, all the components you need to build it. Do not throw away your box that comes with it. Actually, that one is right here. We, because that'll become your pedal box. Okay, so this may be the first kit that you've built. So rather than talk about the pedal first, I'll talk about what you need to build one first. So this came as bare metal, like this guy looks. And what I did, that one there, I sanded it with 220 grit. I cleaned it with naphtha. After it had dried, I primed it with gray primer. I painted it with purple paint and I clear coated it. There were two coats of primer, three coats of color, and three coats of clear. I applied the labels that Stu Mac gave me. I did make a little tiny mistake where the feedback one goes a little bit under the knob, but I'm sure I can figure out that it's the feedback. All right, so you have your pedal, the uh, enclosure, paint the enclosure before you start anything else because there are some steps where you'll use the enclosure to um, line up your soldering for the potentiometers and the switch. Well, in this one, not the switch. But the thing is, once you put it together, to take it all apart, to paint it, you'll need to desolder the DC jack. That way, and it's painted ahead of time. So a digital multimeter, this will help you identify all of your resistors. I also use it to check my diodes. You can check the voltage as it so comes out of them. Solder and flux. This is a paste flux. You can use whatever type of spatula you want. Uh, I use a flathead screwdriver, a small one, to apply it. This is great for cleaning components where you want solder to go. So you put a little bit on the leg of a potentiometer, you apply the heat and your solder, and this cleans it and gives the solder a nice surface to adhere to. This here is a roll of Radio Shack 6040 lead solder. It has flux in it as well. A little more won't hurt you. You'll need a soldering iron. I bet that solder falls right on the ground. Oh, it stayed. All right. This here is handy. I got this from Stu Mac. This is a PCB holder. But I didn't want someone to say I'm a shill for Stu Mac. This is another item, and it's cheaper. And it's cute. It looks like a little man with his little head. This is a Weller Helping Hands. One of these will run you about $20 at Home Depot. I did see that Harbor Freight sells these as well. I don't know their quality, but I'm assuming it's the same damn thing. Also, the Helping Hands, they make several variants of that. In addition, these will come in super handy. These are the thin wrenches. These are great for tightening the DC jack inside the nut in there. Wire strippers, you'll have to have that. I have these small pliers. These are made by a company called Crescent, and they're small and they have a rounding on this. So they're perfect for rounding a component. In this uh, build here, you will bend photo resistors over and you don't want to damage them. So this is a perfect way. I hold the one into the photo resistor like this and I just fold my thumb down over and it, it bends them really nicely. This is a pair of flush cutters. I use these to cut the leads after they're soldered. I want that cut close to the board. And then a pair of wire strippers. So, and I think I already said wire strippers, so I might've said it twice, but that's okay. The, th these tools right here, the pliers and the cutters, they're made by Crescent. Let's see if there's a number on them for what they are. I got these in a kit somewhere. I don't see a number. Um, they're just small. The kit I think was $20 and it might've been Home Depot. So whichever place sells Crescent. So if um, Home Depot doesn't sell it, it was Lowe's. If Lowe's doesn't sell it, it was Home Depot. Most of my electrical hand tools are Klein's, but I couldn't find my small cutters. And when I went to the store, the only way to get small cutters was to get it with these pliers. And I'm so glad that happened because these pliers are super handy. So those are the items you'll need to put this together. Patience and a basic understanding of soldering your components. I've built a lot of pedal kits and the Stumac ones have the clearest instructions. I mean, step by step, I'm going in reverse order here and it's really good stuff. Quality components, detailed instructions. You really can't beat the Stumac pedal kits. 
there are other pedal kits out there from other manufacturers that might be cheaper, but Stumac certainly has uh, the leg up on everyone with the instructions. All right, so enough of that. This pedal here, it sounds really neat. In a second here, you're going to hear some of the sound samples from it, and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to help out. Take care. It's two in the morning. We should build a pedal. Here's some chip sockets. Here's some chips. Here's our resistors and some photo resistors. Daughter board for the foot switch. The main board, some capacitors, and the remainder of the resistors to be identified. Just a few more of these 4.7K resistors to do. Okay, this is the light cycle by Stu Mac with the diodes, transistor, and the resistors installed.
Thank you.